Yo, what is going on, Sexy Sandlander Squad? How are you guys doing? Um, We got Season 10, or Year 10, and we got the new god, Surter. And I'm obviously going to use the reskin, as I always do. We got the normal flame, aka Surter. Surter is the fire giant, by the way, and he has been created into a playable character, and... The year 10 conquest map has actually gotten a new fire giant. I have, I watched the whole patch notes. It's about three and a half hours long. Um, <clears throat> I can clip it out of the stream. If that's something you guys would like, if you would like to see my reactions to certain things and watch the whole three and a half hour recap, just let me know. Um, so there's a, a quite a few things I have to go over here. And I don't really know where to start. Okay, actually, I do know where to start. So what I'm going to do right here. So I'm just going to pause and I'm going to go over a few things real quick. Your vision shard, that, that thing that you used to have for free whenever you loaded into the game, your second relic slot used to be a ward. And you can see the ward right here. Instead, you have these different options that you can do to... Uh, get i guess i would call them temporary buffs right so i'm gonna unpause here and, and hover over them a little bit so i can show you uh this one is gonna increase your movement speed by 15 percent your attack speed by 40 percent for three seconds they're all three second buffs um this one gives you protection steals them from you and and you get them it gives you bonus magical power and physical power and life steal and ability life steal and this one is basically the meditation cooldown reduction. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for the attack speed one. I'm going to get one of each ability. And um, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to pause one more time. I hope J2B doesn't hate me. Um, <clears throat> but we got to go over the kit first. Before anything else, we got to go over the kit. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, Surter's passive is that he gets... Uh, well, I don't know what the protections per level. I guess he gets default protections. He's a warrior, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Uh, he gets default protections per level, but mainly if he loses, uh, I think, what is it? 15 for 15% of his health, a shard will break off of him and go onto the ground. You can pick up that shard and that shard is going to heal you for, uh, I guess three percent of your maximum health which is kind of his way to regen back up so like you lose 15 percent, you get three percent back by default and you can stack them up which seems to double it so just from watching it so that's his passive his basic attacks are a single basic attack like you hit that you hit one unit and then you cleave twice like left cleave right cleave and then you big swing on one unit again so it's uh it's normal one. You see the one damage. The one just means that the scaling is 100. percent And then you have 0.75, and then you have one per or 100 again, and then you have a 1.5 times damage overhead swing at the end. The one is, I mean, it's a lot. This is going to be a lot of explaining to do. Basically. Your one has magical damage on it. As you see right here, you're a warrior, but it says magical damage. Your one is a stacking ability. The way that you stack it is by last hitting a minion or a jungle camp or a player or anything. You, As long as you last hit something while your one is active, you get a stack. And the, the stacks max up at 200. You get three extra bonus damage per stack on that first initial hit of your one. And then it does tick damage after that. Obviously, you see right here, damage per tick scales up. But this is like really the bonus damage is that initial like smack damage. As well as doing that initial smack damage and the tick damage, you summon an imp on them. And imps are kind of intertwined within Surter's whole kit. So you can summon this little imp. It's kind of like a new wa minion. And um, it's going to just attack them over a period of maybe like 10 seconds. I'm not exactly sure how long the imp lasts but um over a period of time the imp will hit them you can see right here the imp's health levels up per rank with only a maximum of clearly 300 health because 250 with five levels and then you know plus 50 for the base 
So you can't get them that tanky. Um, and that's that's the one. That's the whole one. It's not that complicated. It's just boom, initial damage, and then some tick damage, and you summon an imp. Cool. The important part is the stacking part of it. His two. He throws, he picks up something. If there's nothing around him, he grabs a piece of, like, the Earth's crust and throws it. If there is a lane minion around him, an enemy lane minion, he can pick up the enemy lane minion and throw it. And if there's an imp around him, he can pick up his own imp and throw it. Now, each one does different things. If you do the magma rock, the first thing you hit, it will break. AKA, the first minion it will hit, that rock will break and it'll stop there. If you pick up an enemy lane minion, you can throw it. It'll go through minions and then stop at the first god hit. If you pick up your imp, which is what you should be trying to pick up, it's ideal if you, to throw an imp, um, it will pass through the minions hit the first enemy god, and then explode, dealing extra damage in that area, as you see here, the AoE damage. And yes, if you hit anyone with anything, it is a stun. So, pretty good. Ideally, you want to pick up an imp. If you can't pick up an imp, you want to pick up a lane minion. If all hope is lost and you really need to stun, just throw a rock at him. Um, third ability is a... Basically, it's like a big Pele 3 is the, the easiest way to describe it. So there's an outer ring and there's an inner ring on the three. The outer ring is going to do tick damage to anyone that's in it. The inner ring is, I'm pretty sure not going to do anything. It's just going to incentivize them not to run out into the tick damage. And it's a um, kind of like Pele's three, like I explained it. It pulses out and then comes back in and that's at your discretion. You can activate it and deactivate it. Activating and deactivating both do this initial damage number you see right here. And the bonus damage is um, what you get from the, the the outer ring dealing that tick damage. That's what this bonus damage number is. You get movement speed based on how many enemies you're hitting. I don't know. Does it count on minions? It says speed buff that increases for hitting enemies. So I assume it, it's anything. So basically you get 30% movement speed if you use it correctly. And inside the ring, you're reducing their movement speed by 20%. So basically, it's a 60% movement swing if you're using it perfectly, as well as doing tick damage. So it's pretty good, but mainly what you're going to be using this as is just your chase mechanic so that you can keep autoing with this big-ass sword. I mean, it's every every character has a movement mechanic. In Surter's, it just also happens to be a massive amount of damage. Um... And then his ultimate, which I'm not going to explain until we get there because it's absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, this is it. I have no actual cool, cool things. Oh, man. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hello. And you can see my passive will, um... Oh, man. My, my ping... downloading something no oh it's just pts ping just good old pts ping all right well you saw me pick up a uh, a minion there and you also see this little number two right here this little number two is counting how many stacks i do which is how much bonus damage that my thing is gonna do I'm gonna hit him with a minion and then detonate do some more damage i'll use my three here so i can maintain this aggression and yeah i really want to not last hit unless i'm getting a stack but sometimes you can't be that lucky pick this bad boy up and throw it and i'll pick this up while i'm at it oh i think i just lost another one come here by the way uh enemies can actually stand in that they actually can stand on your thing. Your little... What is it called? I guess meteorite. And they can... Break it. By standing on it. Can I pick this up? No. Alright, I have my ultimate up, but I want... I really want to... Do something. Hmm. 
All right, I'm ulting, baby. That's sick. That's so sick. Can I pick up my own minion? No, I can't. Oh, I'm going to die, aren't I? Ah, his ult won't do that much. I'm fine. I'm fine. I will grab the transcendence. I will keep going. So basically, my ult, I turn into a giant meteor. Like I said, I was going to explain it when I actually used it. But I turn into a giant meteor. And it drops down five little meteorites. Um, oh, I say little. They're, they're really not that little. Um, it drops down five meteorites. And those meteorites target enemy gods. Like one meteor will hit an enemy god, ideally. And basically basically what it does is those five little meteors that break off of me while I am the giant meteor they are gonna slap down and create imps and obviously like you just saw those imps are gonna run at him and pump numbers um well this is incredible how much damage I deal by the way and how hard it is for him to get away from me. It's so hard for him to get away from me. That three makes you just stick to people. I only have seven stacks. So how much is it doing? It's doing about 51 bonus damage here. I guess I should level my two. My two seems like it does quite a bit of damage. Actually, my three does quite a bit of damage, too. No, I'll do the two. I'll do the two. I missed. Ouch. Perfect. I got my healing from the, uh, oh God, where is he? Okay. I got my healing from the passive there in order to live basically. And my damage output is pretty gnarly. It's pretty gnarly. My one ticked five times for 216. I wonder how much this does. Anyways, I don't know if I finished explaining the alt. It five little meteors break off of me, an imp spawns from each little meteor, and runs at the nearest enemy player or enemy object, assuming there are no players around. <clears throat> and um other than that, I mean it's basically it's super simple. You go down, whatever you hit gets knocked up and takes big damn. Whatever they hit doesn't get knocked up and takes little damn. And that's that's it. That's the whole kit. Dude, look at that burst. Oh. I guess I can't hold on to that forever, huh? I did not know that. Oh, he's got shell, dude. I don't want him to kill me. All right, I'll just wait. Can I pick up one of your minions? I can't. Unlucky. All right, so I can activate this and deactivate it to do some pretty decent tower damage. Or not tower damage. I mean, uh, minion wave damage. Eleven stacks. That's not terrible. Oh, God. Well, no blue buff for me, I guess. Can I actually stack off you? Oh, no. You coming this way? Are you in there? No, you're not. Okay. Hydras. So, their items, by the way, got a massive change. Like, 
there's so much difference in builds and stuff like that that you have to learn i will go over it over time i'm not going to do it all in this video because this is mainly a video about surter and i gotta be honest man he's kind of really fun and that's that's playing him it's really fun and i'm playing him on 140 ping right now so that should say something i will say i want some sustain if possible nope oh, thank you You land, I land, bud. Boom! Just incredible damage. Oh, can I have that? Nope. Not yet. Can I have my imp, please? Oh, damn it. I will say, and this is kind of a weird, like, nitpicky thing. I feel like his one should be able to be activated kind of like, um... Kind of like Erlang's. You know how Erlang can activate an ability while he like doesn't have to reset his uh, attack chain? Because I feel like I would love to be able to activate the one while also having the cleave auto activated so that I could potentially get more than one stack per activation. But I guess in terms of balance, only getting one stack is probably worth. Like it's probably what they wanted to do. Oh, stunned him. Bro, do you see that damage? What the hell was that? I just I just slapped him for like 300. I don't know where he went. I think he backed. Now that I have a little bit of damage, I do a lot of it. 260. <clears throat> well, that's annoying. Oh, 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 he died to my imps, man. He died to my imps. I couldn't move because I was, uh, you can go across that. I go across anything, anything. I go through and across whatever I damn well please, J2B. Whatever I please. Uh, I should probably get some some protection i'm gonna go with the shoguns here because i want some attack speed by the way aussie seems like a weird pickup here but aussie got changed it now has 50 power on it and i you know i'm doing the whole um i'm doing the whole like attack damage type thing so actually kind of makes sense Okay. You detonate me, I pick up a couple of meteorites from my own body. Hmm. The only issue here is that, like, it's kind of difficult. Oh, you're dead. There it is, baby. Dude, it the minions just do too much. I don't know. They just do too much. That Aussie definitely helps. I have 23 stacks on it. Which means it's doing an extra 69 damage. 
which means which means every time I hit him with my one not only am I doing the tick damage and all that other stuff I'm also just smacking him with a hydra's proc that also does I don't know over 100 damage over 100 bonus damage so damage per tick which happens three times I believe is 90 so it hits him for 90 it hits him it hits him for 270 plus another 100 plus whatever my imp damage is which is a lot by the way uh do you just die here because i feel like you might just die here yeah yeah he has defense by the way My imps are just slapping towers. I wonder if you can backdoor with your imps. I'm going to try. Get him, imps. Get him. Get that phoenix, boys. Get that phoenix, boys. Oh, my God. You actually can. What? I can't believe it. I'm just going to activate my three and run away because I get an extra 20% movement speed. I guess 10% if I don't hit anything. Where you going, buddy? Where you going, J2B? Oh, where'd he go? I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, wait, what is this? Interesting. Okay. I did not know that that was a thing. I really didn't know that was a thing. Um, There's all these good items to go, dude. I don't really know what to build. I don't really know what to build. Crusher got really good. Actually, Crusher got cracked. It does. It used to do 20% damage. Now it does 40%. It got more power, more attack speed, and instead of 10, instead of 10 base pen, it does 10% pen. What if I just ulted? He just do, he's just running, he's just running. Hmm. Lifesteal is good. I got to figure out all these different items. So this demon blade item, by the way, is it's basically wind demon, but a little bit worse. They removed wind demon from the game. As you can see, there's not like a lot of items anymore. They removed a lot of items from the game in this, this season in order to, I guess, kind of make it more accessible, make it simpler. You got toxic blade 
Toxic Blade, so Ichaval is removed from the game. And Toxic Blade got Ichaval's passive. Basically. Like, it's a little bit of a dumbed down way to say it, but basically. I am not in a good position, boys. Rise, creatures of nice. Can I reach him with this? No. I cannot. He's got very good runability. I have 40 stacks. Nice. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. That's all I wanted. Um, Crusher. 15% attack speed. I have a lot of attack speed. I have 270 power. I don't like this demon blade. Um, God, I wish I, I was able to memorize all the, uh, the item changes. I guess Toxic Blade is pretty good still. They moved the attack speed into the passive. Not all of it, but a decent amount of it. Dude, this guy is so fun to play. Just chucking rocks at people. I actually really love it. And I have 41 stacks, which means I'm doing... 150 bonus damage. I'm doing 150 bonus damage on my, uh... Oh, I'm taking big damage here, and you're ulting. Oh my god. <laughs> Just running at him, man. Look at this damage. Oh my god. He seems, honestly, you know what's really weird? He seems like a basic attacker. Like a basic attack warrior. But at the same time, he kind of seems like an ability-based warrior. Because you want that that minion throw to really chunk when it does hit and it was it was doing like 300 damage and then my one on top of that was doing maybe like 400 or 500 damage if you include the base bonus and the tick damage not to mention the imp damage which is just good in general um i'm not sure if i would want my two first like i don't i'm not sure if i would want to level my two or my one first um uh, my one obviously Leveling that first is good because it does more damage, which means you can stack it a little bit easier. But the two is really your main clear potential or, you know, arguably your three. If you just activate it and then stand in the middle, kind of like where you would stand with mystical mail. Um, you do all of that, like 
Oh man, I don't know. It, he's one of those really weird gods where I feel like you could literally get away with leveling anything. Like you can get away with leveling the one and playing for the late game. You could get away with leveling the two and just trying to clear and be super annoying by throwing that stun out every like 10 seconds. Or you could get away with leveling the three and standing there and saying, I dare you to come at me. Because you'll out trade with auto attacks and he can't run away from you. The alt is slow, so it's more of like a ganking alt. I feel like it was really hard for me to actually land that alt that game because every time I tried, he would just be able to alt it or, or simply outrun it. Um, because the charge up time on that alt is so ridiculously long, but you could, like I did one time, you could alt from that bull demon pit and make it all the way to the middle of the lane before you land. So, I mean, it's a pretty good gank tool. Overall, I would say Surter is a 10 out of 10 in funness, an 8 out of 10 in potential for duel, and, um... I don't know, maybe even maybe even a 10 out of 10 in terms of, like, viability. Because he's just so good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the first look, make sure to leave a comment. Make sure that, uh... If you leave a comment telling me if you want to see that three and a half hour review of the patch notes. Or not even really a review, but like a reaction. And, uh, yeah. Peace.